Hello everyone. Welcome to Dr. Rajkumar Academy. Welcome to the session on 15-11-2022. Yeah. So guys, in uh, the reprogram this week, you will be having modern history test. So those interested can take this up. Now, let us look at retail inflation. Guys. I mean, the news, what is more important is, we are all aware that inflation was peaking, right? Inflation was very high and there was large criticism on the government, RBI and all. What exactly we need to do? Then we got to know that, like, you know, we studied in this lectures only that whenever you try to reduce interest rate, inflation increases and when you increase interest rate, inflation decreases. But India was thinking whether we should increase interest rates and affect growth or control inflation. India chose to raise interest rates but at a lower pace, like you know, very small increase was made. As very small increase was made in India, today we can see that, like you know, there is cooling down of the prices. See guys, in India, most of the inflation is due to agricultural products, petrol and all. Petrol is not in our control, but when it comes to agricultural products, once the harvesting season is done, most of the agricultural products prices reduces. So, because of that, normally the inflation reduces. Fortunately, we have reduced the inflation. Let's hope that it continues. And here I want you to know that the numbers which they have given, how much 6.77, 7.41, rural, herbal, these are not required guys because every month it keeps on changing and anything which changes every month has no use. Atomic energy, hydrogen power, India's net zero plan. What is it? This Indian government has announced a long-term strategy at COP27. I want you to write this. Right? First, I'll explain. Now, every country wants to give its own plan on how they are dealing with climate change. And India has told that India will become carbon neutral by 2070-2070. Fine. So last year, Prime Minister has told that we are also going to be carbon neutral. But what are the measures that we took to reduce carbon dioxide emissions? When we see, the first most important thing India did was National Hydrogen Mission. And this mission aims at using hydrogen as a fuel. See, hydrogen is available, but can we use hydrogen as a fuel? Yes, but for that technology is important and that technological development we are working. India also plans to increase atomic energy, that is nuclear energy. And this will help us reduce dependency on thermal power plants. Achieving an ethanol blending of 20% by 2025. The meaning of this is, we should try to ensure that the ethanol blending target, now it is 5%, they want to make it 20% by 2025. Increase electric vehicles, at the same time, increase public transport. But for most of the things, you need funds. And these funds must come from developed countries. 
so that we all can aim to ensure that at least 1.5 degree Celsius is emitted and India will also ensure that from its territory the emissions will be reduced 1.5 degree Celsius by century end. So, India has a long term strategy rather than short term strategies. Fine, can you write down? India has announced, India has announced a long term strategy at COP27. in Sherm El Sheikh next point India plans to become carbon neutral by 2070 next point India has provided long term long term low emission development low emission development strategy it is lt leds lt leds Next point, India ensures that there will be energy security, energy access and employment while keeping focus on our mission Atmanirbhar Bharat Next point India has given following strategies First, National Hydrogen Mission aims to make India Green Hydrogen Hub. Next point, threefold increase in nuclear capacity by 2032. Ethanol blending target of 20% by 2025. Maximizing the use of electric vehicles increase public transport. Increased climate finance to be provided by developed nations. Next. The long term strategy. The long term strategy. Aims at keeping. Temperatures below 2 degree Celsius and ambitiously 1.5 degree Celsius by century end. So, as there is an issue in front of Supreme Court and the issue is about forced conversions. We know that in India, some of the communities who are forcefully converting are SCs and SDs, especially the tribal communities. 
Now, if you look at certain places like Mizoram, Manipur and all, whenever you look at these people who are present in that particular part, guys, over generations they have taken up Christianity and many people claim that it is due to forced conversions because certain church and all will go there, they will give some money, they will give some food, they will give some support and tell that convert. And slowly they are converted in coastal Andhra Pradesh, Kerala and many other parts. Conversions are quite common. Supreme Court is trying to say that forced conversion doesn't mean you are forcing someone but even by giving something, if you are converting them then that would become a problem. And that needs to be reduced. And Supreme Court says government should make a strategy because local people, whoever got the benefit will think they were helped by someone and they won't think there was any sort of force that was there on them. They won't complain. So guys, this is important because it may affect national security over a future at the same time, it will have freedom of religion. Because forced conversions will lead to people fighting against each other. And at the same time, uh, you cannot exchange the fundamental rights for rice, food and all, is what the court said. So, let's wait for uh, what comes out. Yes, guys, mutual benefit, both India and US stand to gain by enhancing cooperation on trade. So guys, today, US is in India to discuss about the trade relations. US and India are planning to improvise our trade. Remember, UK was trying to deal with India recently and now US is here to sign agreements, guys. US wants to ensure that India will provide more access so that US goods can come. At the same time, India is also expecting that certain restrictions imposed by Trump administration against India must be monitored so that Indian exporters are benefited. But there is no proper uh, pact, like you know, this is all just talks guys. So when talks happen, no need to write. But if they sign any agreements, yes, it is important for us. Shape of Indian economic pie must change. Because this is an article written with respect to recent freebie issues. And at the same time, they are talking about reservation issues. It says that, like you know, right wing in India wants to give reservation to Majority of the people, that is like, you know, Hindu community. Whereas left wing wants to give to everyone. One side, the problem is giving freebies to everyone. Like, you know, Amadmi Party and all talking about giving free. On the other hand, reservation on the basis of economically weaker sections is another issue. Both issues are problematic, is what they are trying to talk don't worry, not so important article. Tradition and talent, England winning the World Cup and this is also not so important guys. It is all about Iran's protests. Yeah. So guys, where no child is left behind. Here he is trying to say that India's human development index is least. We need to improve them. Right, but than that what is important for me here is so you write down there is a conference called as Jomtian Conference J-O-M-T-I-E-N Jomtian Conference which normally says Declaration on Education for All <coughs> so, 
Declaration on Education for All, 1990. They may ask you guys, Jomtian Conference was about what? Declaration on Education for All. That's enough. Yeah. Center seeks time from Supreme Court in places of worship act case. See guys. There are many temples in India which were demolished and on some temples mosque was constructed and this was done during medieval periods when Muslim rulers were there. So, it is not possible for us to change everything today. If we start going back and if we break those and construct Hindu temples, this is going to cause enmity and riots across the country. And that is not the solution. The Ram Janmabhumi issue itself has led to so much of hatredness between the communities. Given this, it is very important for us to be conscious whenever we do anything in future. So parliament at that time told that history might have done certain mistakes. But if anything is done before 1947, we are not going to talk about that now. We are not going to change it today, nor we are going to change it in future. So parliament had mandated that any history and whatever wrongs are there, that should not be changed. Right? So this is what Supreme Court is telling, should we look into it again? Because Gyan Vapi case, you have Varanasi court is looking into Gyan Vapi dispute. So like this, many cases would come up. Should we take up those cases or not? Trade with India doubled to $2 billion in the past two years. Norway envoy. Yes, India and Norway are working on certain technology and there it is believed that uh, like, you know, Norway is helping India to move towards green energy. Fine. Where India, like, sorry, where Norway is investing in solar energy, where Norway is investing in green energy, wind energy in Tamil Nadu and Gujarat. Right. So, this is just about investments. You can just make a note. India-Norway relations. Iphone. Norway. Norway. Plans to invest in green energy projects green energy projects like solar energy, wind energy. Yes, this is all politics, politics, politics. Echoes of Kashmir's long lost Persian inflict inflection. Okay, yes, this is all about, see guys, in Kashmir, uh, the third Dogra changed the official language from Persian to Urdu. But like you know today they have planned to revive the Persian language and they are trying their level best to bring back all the scriptures and all that is what they are trying to tell us. Nothing much. This is very important. Project to track small fishing vessels now makes progress. You see guys, what is happening? In a simple language, I'll tell you. Because 2611, when it happened, Mumbai terror attacks, few people from Gujarat, they came. They started 
capturing the vessels few people came from pakistan captured vessels in gujarat and then entered into mumbai and led to two terror attacks after that indian government slowly started analyzing that we need to go for connecting transponders to the fishing boats so it is going on and now it has got a particular pace and today india is having transponders ready so that most of the ships will be monitored where they are moving and all and along with the transponders the boats will be given certain signals where if they are lost or if they see any suspicious activity they can inform to our navy it is very difficult for navy to look into the entire coast because india has approximately 7516.6 kilometers of coastline so guys i just want you to write internal security maritime security iphone you write below navy has launched sea vigil sea vigil v a g a l sea vigil 2022 which is pan india which is pan india coastal defense exercise pan india coastal defense exercise aimed at aimed at guarding the coast next point India has 7516-7516 kilometer of coastline and exclusive economic zone of India will sorry and exclusive economic zone of India. full stop it is very difficult for us to guard it is very difficult for us to guard entire territory so the support of coastal states union territories and coastal communities are important for small fishing vessels transponders are connected so that it is easy to identify if there is any untoward activity and the fishing vessels and the fishing vessels can alert a l e r t alert navy of suspicious activity yeah is yes, again it is about the inflation i wish you people can open inflation chapter in economy today and read once fine thank you guys these are some of the issues that were important yeah yes please do inform to your friends about the test series whoever is interested can make better use of it thank you guys